Okay, so we see here that these records of revenge, taking vengeance for the Most High, it says be cursed, be cursed without mercy because of the darkness of your deeds. This, these, they are proclaiming curses on those that's walking in darkness. Be damned in the shadow of place, the shadowy place of the everlasting fire. So be damned. You know, they taught us to say, I be damned. And here we go, damning ourselves. They had us damning ourselves. We are to damn the wicked. Be damned. See, this goes to the rebels. When you go against the Most High, the righteous are proclaiming you to be damned in the shadowy places of everlasting fire. May Yahuwah not heed when you call on him. Here's for our people. May he not heed when you call on him because you are working with and for the enemy, nor pardon you by blotting out your iniquity. May he raise his angry face towards you for vengeance. I told you, out these rebels that's working for the enemy, these agents, they are with the enemy. And so he's going to render vengeance unto these people also. May there be no shalom for you in the mouth of all those who hold fast to the fathers. And after the Baraka and the cursing, all those entering the covenant shall say, so be it. We have a covenant that we must enter into. We must know this covenant that we are to enter into. Death, Dead Sea Scrolls, page 146. For judgment of all the living is with Yahuwah. This judgment for all the living is with Yahuwah. Our judgment, because we're going to face judgment too. Our judge, two thirds will be cut off. Two thirds will be cut off. Not listening to the most high judgment. And the third have to go through the fire, trials, tests, very difficult situations. That's why we, we're, that's why us within the borders, we are preparing ourselves for this. We've been preparing ourselves for this for years. And so the ones that's been here for years, we have to help prepare those that's coming within the borders. And it is he who will render to man his reward. It's the avenger that's going to render to man his reward. He says, I will not envy in the ruach of wickedness. My soul shall not desire the riches of violence. I will not grapple with the men of perdition until the day of revenge this is the day of revenge this is what the most high is calling the day of revenge so we saw him taking vengeance on us concerning babylon now we are seeing him take vengeance on the enemy on the wicked ones on those that will be left on all the other nations that will be against him for battle but my wrath shall not turn from the men of falsehood. You see, he's not turning his wrath from the men of falsehood. These Babylonian teachers, they won't be around at this point. They will be gone, except a few of them may have, may be millionaires and may, they may have their own planes you don't know anything about. They may try to fly out of her with their escape route. Because remember, the enemy can use them on the outside. And many of them, they will allow to escape so that they can use them on the outside continue to use them and i will not rejoice until judgment is made there's no reason for uh, no reason for us to rejoice and they're still at work we're not rejoicing until judgment is made this is what this is saying that's when we will rejoice this is back in the scrolls here okay we see we see the battle all those who are ready for battle shall march out and shall pinch their camp before the king of Kittim. Now we understand from the book of Jasher that Edom and Kittim, Edom became one with Kittim. So we know this is talking about Edom and those that form allegiance with him. And before all the host of B-E-L-I-M gather about him for the day of revenge, we are talking about gathering the wicked, the darkness, 
together to battle against the sons of light. The Avengers. This is what we're talking about. And this isn't Marvel movie. Forget Marvel movie. This was create. This is a creation. This is a copycat of the real deal. Mighty ones battling against mighty ones. This is the, listen, and they got the thing backwards. The most high mighty ones. They're coming from up. They're coming. They're gonna open up and come in. They the ones coming down in. See the movie had it backwards. They got the enemy coming in from up above. And the people on the ground, that's backwards and they know it. They just want to, to continue to get our mind conditioned to what they want us to be. And that's what they're doing. That's their job. So there is the day of revenge by the sword of Yahuwah. Okay, let me continue here. And Louis and all the men of the army shall recite aloud the prayer in the time of war. We're talking about a physical battle here, written in the book for the rule concerning this time. And also all the hymns. He shall marshal all the formations there as written in the book of the war. You know, remember the message. Um, make ready for the battle. This is the battle we're talking about here. And the priest appointed for the day of revenge by the voice of all his brethren shall go forward to strengthen the hearts of the fighting men. Why? Because the hearts are weak and they have to be, the most high must take their hands and make their hands ready for battle. Their hearts and their minds have been weakened with this Shaul spiritual battle, you know, the armor being spiritual, put on the full armor, this spiritual armor. You see, that weakened us and it caused fearful heart. When the real deal is time to come, there won't be no one on their knees praying. It's time to battle. Speaking, he shall say, be strong and, and violent and valiant. Excuse me. Be warriors. You see, we're being told to be warriors because we're not warriors. At this point, we become warriors. Fear not. Do not be confused. And do not let your hand, your hearts be afraid. Don't be confused and don't let your hearts be afraid. Do not be fearful. Fear them not. Look at them. They're horrible. They're mighty ones. Fear them not. Look at them. They're giants. There were giants in the land before they went there. Fear them not. Do not fall back. For they, this is, this is the reason why. For they are a congregation of wickedness and all their works are in darkness. They tend towards darkness. Our people are leaning toward darkness. Most of our people are good people. They have good hearts. They're just being led astray. They're walking in deception because their teachers are deceiving them and they think they're in the truth. Now this is the, this is the point here. They think they're in the truth. If they knew of the deception, they would not follow their leaders. Talk to them. They will tell you, oh, I'm in the truth. We got the truth. We know the truth. We're not in Christianity anymore. We're walking in truth and in righteousness. And they're calling on G-O-D, speaking of blood covenant over each other. You know, bless you is a blood covenant. They're speaking blood and death over you. When they say bless you, they have no idea what they're saying. These people don't know this. They don't deal, they don't dig into the etymology of words and what the meaning, the root word, not the change meaning, but what the word meant, what it really means. They make for themselves a refuge in falsehood. That's our people. They're making falsehood their home. You know, we don't have to come out of her. He's going to gather us. That's a refuge in falsehood. And their power shall vanish like smoke. All these multitudes of their community shall not be found. These rebels will not be found. These Babylonian teachers will not be found. Damned as they are, all 
the substance of their wickedness shall quickly fade like a flower in the summertime. And we're being told, be brave, strong for the battle of Yahuwah. For this day is the time of the battle of the of the Almighty against all the hosts of the wicked one. We have to understand this. He's about to take vengeance on the wicked one and all that's with him. That's why it says all the hosts of this wicked one. And of a judgment of all flesh. You see, he's the he's going to judge all flesh. He's the mighty one of Yashara. Lifts up the, the hands in his marvelous might against all ruachs of wickedness. All the ones that's working wickedness. The host of the warriors mighty one gird themselves for battle. And the formation of the Kadash ones prepared themselves for the day of revenge. We are talking. This is a day of revenge. An avenger is the one that take revenge for what they've done. Now it's time for Edom to pay for all of his wickedness. And it will be this avenger and the avengers that will do this. Yes, you probably never heard a message like this before coming from the Most High. He is the Avenger. They are Avengers. We have a part. We can be part of the Avengers. Not us. Yes. Yes. Us. You saw Louis. And Yahuwah, the mighty one of Yahshua, has called out the sword against all nations. This, the Most High is orchestrating this. He called out the sword against all nations. And he will do mighty deeds by the Kaddish of his people. You see this? This is how he operates. He's going to do mighty deeds by the Kaddish of his people, the righteous of his people, the people fighting. It will be done by the Most High. And I will leave you with 2 Baruch 82, 1 and 2. Here is your word. Therefore, my brother, he said all that to say this. Therefore, my brother, I have written to you that you may comfort yourselves regarding the multitude of your tribulations. We're going through so much. We have to deal with so much. For know you that our maker will assuredly avenge us. You have to know for surely beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Most High, our Maker, will assuredly avenge us on all our enemies. Make sure you know whose side you on. He's going to avenge us on all. He is our avenger. And he's going to avenge us. Not some of our enemies, but all of our enemies. According to all that they have done to us, remember what they've done to us, also, that the consummation with the Most High will make is very near. So this consummation, this is what we finished reading about the Avenger and the Avengers. And that day, that day of vengeance, that judgment day, that battle, that day of battle. And his mercy and his favor that is coming. And the consummation of his judgment is by no means far off. This stuff is not, you think it's a long ways to go? You think you have time to get out of Babylon? You think you have time? Here is a question. Your next prayer. You ask the most high, how much time do I have to get out of Babylon? Because our people think they have time. This judgment that's coming is by no means far far off i look at it as it's here because once again it's going to happen all of a sudden so we need this avenger we need him to avenge us he is the only one that's going to take vengeance for us and after only after his judgment poured out on the other nations we completely free that we may serve him then we will rejoice then we will congregate together. Then we will go back to doing what we were intended to do in the first place. And this is the most high making everything right. This is our avenger, the avenger.
Shalom.